Where's my old Kindle Fire? I'm gonna destroy every other reason. First, this back is like seriously scratched. Like, looks horrible. And there's Gus and Nick's on there. It's pretty in bad condition. I would have kept this if it wasn't in terrible condition. The plastic back is like coming off. And yeah, you can see the scuff marks and stuff, scratches. So I'm gonna destroy it. The camera's pretty bad though. It's scratched up. But the tablet was a good tablet. The speakers were really good in it. They have really good like drivers. They sounded very good. The tablet was fast like back in the day. Yeah, I was surprised. It's Probably not like on par with an iPhone 5 for 2014 tablet. It's impressive. I miss these old Kindles. These new ones suck. This one was a old, good old tablet. I'm gonna show you because it's just not the best condition. The volume is like, it's hard to like control it now. It's like stuck. And there's stuff in the camera. Some mic and stuff. So yeah, I want to destroy it. I'm gonna set the speaker aside. I want to keep that. It's pretty nice. Sounds good. I don't want to destroy it. The screen quality is also good though for an HD tablet. The new Fire 7 is 480p crap. And this one like performed really well. The only issues was with this tab, it, had, it has a terrible camera and, and there was not, no 802.11 AC, yeah. I like the faster Wi-Fi standards. This was just wireless and no dual band, which was awful, so I want to try a bend test first. Got a screwdriver to stab it. Pocket knife to scratch it, hammer to smash it, scissors to cut it, and channel lock to hold apart. So I'm gonna try a bend test first. Let me hold my iPhone. It's hard to hold like one handed there. I wanna set it right here. So I'm gonna put it on the screen. Just buy it. Oh my god, this is terrible. Yep. This thing is durable. I'm surprised. This is better than the Samsung. Yep, this thing is durable. The screen's still working well. There's just a bit of ghosting. Surprise. Very nice. There's just ghosting, that's it, dude. The screen still works. So, let's set this down. on the bend test. I want to set too close to the speaker. Yeah, this thing is durable. Put on the pauses to let cool down. I am back. It's been about an hour. See how the screen is doing. Fully, it's almost fully recovered. For no reason that the battery doesn't want to charge. That's why I was like trying to destroy it. There is no like 
There's just is a little bit of like ghosting, but it's not a big deal. I mean, these screens are fragile, so I do a scratch test first. Stab and scratch. Yeah, this thing scratches easily. The camera is definitely out of plastic. Yeah. So you can see how easy it scratches. I'm gonna scratch the screen, scratch and stab the screen. I'm gonna scratch it first. Yep, the, there's no like, noticeable scratches. That's just a light amount of scratching. I'm gonna do a more heavier one. One of those small scratches when they do the hardest. Oh. Yep. Oh, there is some scratches, more permanent scratches. Still gotta be careful. This is Gorilla Glass though. See how it handles the screwdriver. It, see that scratching there? It does scratch though. It's more durable than the average glass. This is grill glass though, so it's gonna handle more like intense scratches. I think this might be grill glass four or something. So I'm gonna stab it. Let's turn on the screen. the back that's just light it won't handle it no. fiber off I'm gonna wipe the screen to see the carnage If there's permanent marks. It's only like a light amount of marks, so. It's just some. See how it handles scissors. It's durable. Hold on. Cam bag. I'm gonna try a hammer test. Like, hammer's not rough yet, though. There's no cracks. I'm surprised. Let's 
see how I handle that. Oh, it did crack. So yeah. Surprisingly durable though. I'm surprised. I want to do more bend tests on it though. So let's go. screen does not work anymore, unfortunately. Apologize for keep I keep pausing because people are sending me messages and it's distracting me. So let's do more hammer tests. Really? I won't turn on anymore. Let's do a heavy hammer smash. Oh my god. I want to end this video. Glasses everywhere. It's making me nervous and stuff. I don't want to cut myself. Bye. I am back. I apologize for like pausing the video over and over because it's really that hot in here first of all let me show you yep it is 86 degrees in here it was 87 watt when i was recording this video my stupid ac barely works anymore like it is on or maybe it's just too hot now, though. It does not work well in like at high temperatures outside. It's like over like 95 outside. I have a fan on in my room. Yeah, heat. The heat makes me irritable. Very irritable. I don't like heat. Nor I don't like cold either. It's even hard to speak or think or do whatever in, in the heat, as well as the cold. I like 75 degrees. Anything above 80 is too hot. But if I'm not like making videos or thinking or doing whatever, like that involves like doing something like such fun games, then I'm fine though. The heat makes me exhausted. And Aussies and so many like things. It affects other people too. So let's see how this so works. The LCD is broken. You can see. It turns off like after just a second. I think I hit the internals so hard. I'm gonna open this up to see the carnage and stuff. I, cl I cleaned up the glass and everything's fine now. Probably shouldn't record it if it's that hot in here. Pretty paranoid that because my phone overheats and I don't want to degrade the battery health fast. So let's move on. I'll pause the video. This is the inside of this. The circuit board's completely fine, but I found that the LCD just broken. It wasn't responding right. Like, sometimes it would turn off for a second and... Dude. This thing is busted, the display. I'm gonna get another one of these tablets on eBay. They're only like 25 bucks. They're worth it. And they're way better condition to, than this. I think probably for these tablets being cheap, the You can get a replacement easily. $20, like dollars isn't that expensive. Here. It's really that hot in here. It's hotter than hell. Probably shouldn't like record. It's so hot in here. 
I just can't think because I'm more like focused on my iPhone. I want to save the battery. It's still at 100% battery health, which is amazing. It's actually at 102% if you look at the analytics, the log aggregated data and stuff. So, and this, this thing wouldn't like respond like to my like touch, like my fingers because the touch like pad is broken. I think I busted the cable in there. And I can see internal cracks on the inside the screen and stuff. So yeah, that's best. I'm gonna take this glass all off and I'm gonna try to do a bend test with my channel locks. So, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Took the glass off. It's really hard. This thing's durable though. So they like glued it together pretty well. Unlike the Samsung tablet. But anyways, I'm gonna try another bend test to see if this bends easily. Nope, it's more durable than the Samsung one. Can't, it's indestructible. Durable. So yeah, I'm gonna get another one of these off of eBay. So yep, bye.